President Ryan, Dean Grimes, Dean Minchin, Dean Sampong, Dr. Stanton, faculty, graduating students, family and friends, it is indeed an honor and privilege to stand before you to thank you for allowing me to spend a few minutes with you this afternoon. This indeed is a special moment in your lives. It is my great pleasure to recognize today's graduates from California, from across the nation and from around the world. You each have your own individual story. Whether you are a working professional who already is very busy with studies and life's requirements, a member of our armed forces serving our nation, or a more traditional student taking the first step on your chosen career path, you all have one thing in common, that of self-motivation and determination to continue educational excellence. For that, I commend you all for taking that time and investing your energy for the future. Your goal now is to individually and collectively make this world a better place in ways that you have already considered and in ways that you will come to you as you move forward. I've been told the student body is comprised of students from 38 countries, such as Great Brit uh, Britain, Kenya, China, Germany, and India, as well as alumni from 84 countries around the world. In many ways, the cultural fabric of your student reflects the wonderful demographics of our city of Irvine. We are truly an international crossroads city. So when I look out at all of you, I see so much of all of us in Irvine. And that is wonderful to see. I also want to congratulate the work ethics that so many of you have shown during your time at California Southern University. So many of you are working professionals facing the challenges of pursuing a degree while juggling work and family obligations. I don't know how you do it all, but I admire your effort. And adding to your focus, most of you are in graduate programs with the doctor of psychology being the most popular. The road ahead, I must tell you, is enlightening exciting and challenging. We live in an age in which the world economy remains on shaky ground. And we live in an era where the present and future worker may be changing jobs many times, even changing career path once, twice, or three times, and more. But challenges are good for the soul. In my personal story, 35 years ago, I was on a plane to a country, the United States of America, that I knew very little about. I had never been to America before. I did not speak the language. And when I arrived here with my wife, Joanne, my journey was only beginning. As I flew to my destination that day, I asked myself, what will this country afford me? How quickly will I learn English well enough to speak my mind? But most importantly, how will I make a difference in this new land of opportunity? Today, you asked yourself, different questions, but with the same passion and expectation. I tell you today to find confidence in your talents and you will find direction in your lives. 
When I arrived in the U.S., I had to work very hard to make a living and support my family. I went into business, into sales, and over the years, rose to a senior management position. But I kept asking myself, what would be next? What would be my calling? Remember, just a moment ago, I said you might be changing jobs several times, and importantly, even careers. And so it was with me. My personal inspiration, which I realized could only come from public service, was to build, to build coalitions, to build friendships, to bridge gaps, and create trust. To focus on the strength that diversity holds if we work together, not apart. I became deeply involved politically and in community service. In both passions, you build foundations to strengthen people and community. At the same time, you break down walls of misunderstanding and misery. As you develop a position of strength and observation, you need both a steady hand and a compassionate heart. And I learned that I wanted the most from both worlds. So I ran for city council in 2004 and won a seat where my vote could make a difference. Subsequently, I ran for mayor in 2008 and became the first Korean American mayor in Irvine history. A city that prides itself in being thoroughly integrated. Looking around Chang Hall this afternoon, I see a diversity of people, a diversity of culture, and a diversity of talent. That is what will define our future generation of leaders, and that is what will enrich your experience and as you embark on this next phase of your life. 35 years ago, being mayor was beyond my wildest dream. But making a difference was part of my upbringing. It was a lifelong calling from my soul. So how will you make a difference? How will you grow, change, and adapt to an even more competitive society that we are facing today? How will you build on the wonderful foundation that California Southern University has provided you? Here's my challenge to you. Make the most of every minute of every day. Embrace not just the rights and privileges that comes with living in a great democracy, but the obligations as well. If you see things that needs changing, don't wait for someone else to step up to the plate. Roll your sleeves up and do the hard work necessary to address the challenges in your family, in your community, our country, and our world. America needs all of you sharing your wealth of talent. Whether you have focused your studies in the area of psychology, business, or law, you have the opportunity to accomplish the extraordinary in your chosen life. You are educated. Be proactive as you realize your aspirations. Listen to others and set your goals. Wherever you land, whether it is on an airplane to a new destination or to a job down the street, know that you will have one distinct advantage. You will have yourself with all the tools that you have learned through this wonderful university and gathered in life to make career choices and life-changing decisions. Making a personal difference is indeed a symbol of America. My life has taught me whether one mile from where you begin 
or 6,000 miles from home. That no matter where you are, there you are. There you stand on a hilltop as the world waits for you. Don't let the world wait for too long. Congratulations, and may God bless you, and may God bless America. Thank you.